Hey, good morning. This is Brian Kuzmar with Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals in beautiful Lauderdale by the Sea. Absolutely gorgeous day out there. Uh, February 22nd, our uh, Tuesday morning update on precious metals, and it's 72 degrees, so I'm giving you the weather update as well. Look how clear that is. It's a great day. If I was out early in the morning uh, trying to spot some snook or tarpon or something swimming by, see how smooth that water is? Uh, not good for surfing, but a beautiful day for fishing, uh, and a beautiful day just overall. Well, let's go into what we're going to talk about today, which is the real gold prices and the real silver prices, not the phony spot prices that you're looking at uh, that are derived from comics and derived from bullion banks and derived from paper I'm gonna show you what the real prices are and actually I have right here but I'm gonna show you how we not just I how we and how you are gonna derive these prices on your own because the whole point of these videos is to teach you to become a better buyer uh, and becoming a better buyer helps the seller as well so it helps me if you know what you're doing you know what you're buying I have to spend less time explaining it so uh, and I think yeah, overall it, it makes us all richer to be smarter than the average bear and that's my opinion well I'm gonna move into these gold and silver prices but first I'm gonna talk on a little subject that we spoke about yesterday that's about uh, and this happens in every market big whales the big whales that eat the small fish and folks we're small fish uh, we all know it we can't be in denial unless uh, unless Ellen Musk is listening to my videos we're we're, we're just uh, small fish folks and we're here to be eaten by the big whales and of course the game is rigged but if you know how it's rigged then uh, there's really not a big issue there and that's one of my old saying, of course the game is rigged, don't let that stop you. If you don't play, you can't win. And the nice thing about precious metals is that we've had years and years and years of uh, watching how they rig it. Guys like Ted Butler and, and lots of other guys that you can find out there, very knowledgeable in gold and silver, will explain to you how gold and silver markets have been rigged for decades now. Uh, I've talked about it for several months on our show as we touch on it all the time. In fact, I talk about it too much and I'm afraid that I might frighten some of you folks because I don't want you not to play. I want you to know how the game is rigged and then play because then you'll beat them at their own game. Uh, that's the problem we're having right now with, uh, uh, in my opinion, we're having with uh, cryptos is we don't know exactly how the game is rigged, but we know the big whales in there. Uh, BlackRock, who is one of the largest uh, uh, companies out there, corporations out there, they manage trillions, just announced that they're getting into, they're dabbling with Bitcoin. Uh, well, you know, they're the largest whale out there. They run the ETFs. They run SLV, GLD. They run them. Not only do they run them, they run the prices up and down. I don't know how they get away with it, but they do. And they're in the crypto markets, folks. And the thing about the crypto markets is there's zero regulation. Uh, we Pretty much zero regulation. And even if there was regulations, uh, the regulators in the United States and across the world, they're so inept to start with that they don't even know how to regulate regulated markets, much less in you know, uh, a new market market like cryptos. So what we saw yesterday with the big hemorrhaging of, uh, uh, of cryptocurrencies and such was just simply a result of the big whales going in there and crushing us, the small fish. Uh, so be careful. If you don't know how that game's rigged, don't play it. Learn how the game is rigged, then play, and you will beat them. Uh, so as we said, cryptos got crushed, Dogecoin got crushed, uh, all the cryptos got crushed really badly yesterday, and Bitcoin was already getting hammered earlier in the week. Uh, looks like Elon Musk, did he make a wrong move? Hard to believe he did, but as I spoke about yesterday, Elon Musk is a genius in certain things. He's in the genius in the things that made him rich. Um, and I think, uh, was Elon Musk the PayPal guy? I don't even remember. It's been so long. I just think of him as a Tesla guy. But yeah, is he a genius? Yes. But he's not a genius in everything. And uh, I've met millionaires and uh, many millionaires and billionaires. I just scratched my head. They're dumb as rocks. I couldn't figure out how they made the money. But you know how they make their money? Perseverance, working hard, being at the right place at the right time with the right product. Uh, and that's Elon Musk. Genius? No. Uh, but I do admire him for sure. I admire the space program that he created. I admire the electric cars. Uh, but, you know, that's what a lot of money can do. You can think, you can imagine things and dream things. And if you have billions, you're never going to spend it all. So you might as well make those dreams come true. And kudos to the man for doing that. But as far as cryptos go, I don't think he's a genius at all. Uh, in fact, uh, I'd even tell Ellen the same thing. You know, know how the game is rigged before you play it, sir. Uh, and that's what I suggest to everyone. And as I said, we know how the game is rigged in precious metals. And we're going to discuss that in a little bit here. Uh, so, for all you crypto folks out there, uh, you know, if you, if you uh, just keep calm and buy gold, <laughs> that's the best suggestion I have. Uh, unless, again, you know how the game is rigged, and then uh, keep playing it, and you will beat them at their own game eventually. So, if you don't know how the game is rigged, 
trust me, keep calm and buy gold. <laughs> so, hey, uh, another thing we talked about yesterday as far as cryptos go, and I had made mention that the first gold-backed crypto uh, that was created that actually had gold behind it, like a serial number, uh, and you had a serial numbered one-ounce bar sitting in the safe somewhere at a good place like a mint or, or a major bank that's trustworthy uh, and you don't have to worry about going bankrupt, uh, it would be a big winner. And lo and behold, what did I find? Perth Mint harnesses blockchain and cryptocurrency technology to bring gold into the digital area. I thought this was so cool. Uh, and this is exactly, this is the kind of product that I would even get involved with. Now, I want to read more about it, see who's involved with it, and see what whales are going to get involved with it so I don't get crushed by the whales or eaten by the whales. Uh, but, you know, if, if I'm going to invest in any uh, uh, kind of cryptos. I love this. The fact that it's backed with gold, awesome. As long as it's allocated, I'm cool with that. I did look at some other uh, crypto-backed gold things. A lot of them seem really shady to me. I would avoid them uh, personally unless they are backed by a government, which the Perth is, the Perth Mint. Um, blockchain, the technology behind Bitcoin, uh, 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 Ethereum, I can't even know how to pronounce that correctly. I guess I'd better learn how to pronounce that. And Libra will now make it easier for consumers to buy and sell gold that is held in Perth Mint. The hundred, and this is the key, the 120 year old mint, which is well respected, uh, is going to hold the gold and have the gold. And uh, I like that. Again, that, this is the way I want to own my crypto. I want a crypto that's backed by something tangible, uh, backed by something made by stars. I think that's just too cool. Uh, and it's the best way to own it. Uh, Selling gold as cryptocurrency turns the hidden under the bed model on its head. It means that an ounce of gold can be purchased very easily, very quickly with the convenience of a smartphone without going through all the physical transactions side of things, uh, Mr. Hayes said. Uh, so anyway, good article, and uh, I'm going to research more about crypto-backed gold by Perth Mint. Now, would I put all my money into the Perth Mint cryptos? No, I think it's kind of cool if I could use it as uh, 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 like a bank account, so to speak. I could throw money in there. I don't feel like my dollar bills are being... Uh, devalued and going down in value and buying less gold slowly creeps up and I can throw money into the crypto gold account as I see fit when I want to spend it so instead of just like sitting with money in my checking account I could sit with my money in my gold account uh, and again nobody puts all their money in a checking account I don't uh, I'd rather I still would prefer to have the gold in my hand because remember even the Perth Mint uh, if you lose your electricity or internet for any length of time, and remember Texas this last week, you have no access to even your Perth Mint gold-backed cryptos. So that's the thing that frightens me about cryptocurrencies, is that you need electricity and you need internet to get to them. However, for the most part, we always have that, but don't always count on it. Anything can happen as far as internet and electricity go. We, again, we saw this this last weekend. So I like to have gold in my hands, but I love the idea of a crypto-backed uh, uh, gold or uh, gold crypto backed uh, 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 kind of a, a product. Uh, so, if you got any comments, uh, please leave them in the comment section below. I'd like to see what you think about the uh, Perth Mint's uh, uh, cryptocurrency uh, or crypto uh, backed gold. Uh, really cool product, I think. Well, let me move into uh, gold and silver prices here uh, and what we were talking about, what the real gold and prices, uh, silver prices are. Uh, but before I do that, uh, I am a local business here. I do not. So if you're watching me from afar, uh, remember, I only do business locally. Uh, so you have, I'm a brick and mortar store. I'm open 10 to 4 Mondays through Fridays. We don't do any phone sales. We don't do any online sales. We only sell to local customers. Uh, maybe that will change one day. Someone will convince me to do an online store. But for now, I'm just a brick and mortar. Uh, so if you out of my state or you can't come here to visit me personally I'm sorry I can't do business with you but I'm always happy to answer a question if you give me a call uh, and if you can keep it short because I'm dealing with people all day long uh, but my suggestion is if you don't live near, near me buy local find yourself a good coin or precious metal shop you know even if it takes you a little bit to drive it's probably worth it develop a relationship if you go online and you see that uh, there's prices cheaper with the big three you know with the big online sellers like Atmax, uh, JM or SD ask your local coin dealer to meet or beat those prices. Many times they'll take a look and say, hey, there's money and I'll do that. Uh, and you will have to pay them in advance if they don't have the product on hand. But if they've been around for a while, uh, 10 years or more especially, uh, I wouldn't worry about it at all. Just uh, leave your money, pick up your gold the following week and lock it in. That's my suggestion. Oh boy, and the phones are ringing already again. We were busy as hell yesterday. Anyways, buy local if you can. Spend it in town. Uh, keep it in town. Uh, you're helping your community out and you're helping yourself out in bigger ways than you could possibly know. 
But if, but <laughs> here's a but, if you do not have a local shop that you can drive to, and a lot of people are kind of out in the boonies, or or you just you know it's hard to find a good coin and uh, bullion store. If that's the case, uh, I'd suggest sticking with Atmex, uh, JM Bullion, or SD. Those are the three big ones, um, and uh, I, I think they sell honest products. Uh, however. I can beat their prices, and I will always beat their prices. That's my big selling thing here. But they are good companies, so if you can't deal face-to-face -face with me and get the great prices that I have, um, and you can't do that with a local dealer, uh, then you can probably do it with these guys. Uh, but again, I can always beat their prices, so don't worry about that. But if you don't live near me, hmm, not so good. Find yourself a local dealer. Uh, I'm going to go into, uh, look at the products here right here, sale. They got a sale on <laughs> um, buffaloes at uh, $2,008. Uh, what is the current uh, gold price they're showing? They're showing 1818 That's a pretty huge market. That's like 200 bucks almost there. Uh, they're about, uh, not quite $190 over spot. Uh, so they're getting $190 over spot for gold buffaloes. Again, I have them cheaper. Uh, Pre-sale. Uh, looks like they're out of uh, Eagles. Eagles have been harder to source lately, and it uh, looks like they're out of them. Uh, they got them as low as 1978. Again, I can beat that price. Uh, but again, they're not, they're good prices. There's nothing wrong with prices at Max uh, 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 SD Bullion or JM Bullion. Their prices are good. They seem like fair. But again, your local dealer can probably beat them if you can find a good one like me. Um, let's take a look at gold pant bars. This is what I'm going to use. Gold pant bars, of tri uh, pant bars and Perth bars have typically been, and you see I'm circling it right here, have been the cheapest products you can buy uh, uh, for the last decade or so, uh, as far as gold, you know, popular gold products. Um, typically, the wholesale level on them, I bought them as cheap wholesale as Spot Plus, uh, and I'm, they're kind of like generic bars, Spot Plus 12 bucks, as high as Spot Plus uh, not high as it, there, it's really high right now, but uh, uh, the average I think was around spot plus eighteen dollars. Let's say for Perth and Pant bars, eighteen to twenty. That's been the decade average. So I'm using the decade average of what the wholesale cost to come up with the price of what I think the price of gold is. And the uh, uh, again, the price of Pant bars for the last decade wholesale price um, and a decent wholesale price. Uh, and not overdoing, not underdoing it has always been. Uh, where's my little slip here? I think I just lost it actually. Uh, Basically, like I said, 18 to 20 bucks. Currently, it looks like it's uh, 79 bucks higher than the average. So, pant bars are almost $80 more than they traded on their last decade average before the shortages happened here uh, and before they started monkey hammering the paper gold prices. So, uh, look at that 1928. So, basically, uh, if I add, uh, give me one second, this is how I came up with. This price earlier of 1886, I just simply added what the current spot gold price is of uh, more or less 1807, 1808, and I add that $79 to that, and that's where and the $79 is we're paying $79 more for a product uh, uh, more than we used to. So again, I'm using the wholesale prices to establish uh, what I think the current real prices are for physical retail gold. Uh, and right now, the premiums are high enough that's indicating that the gold price is, in reality, uh, 1886. Uh, and the same thing with silver. Let me take a look at the silver prices here. I'm going to use JM for their silver prices. Sorry to keep you out of here, SD. And again, I can beat JM pretty easily, too. And uh, I'm not going to go to Silver Eagles. Look at that, $37 over. That's quite a substantial premium. Uh, what I did use is, uh, where did it go? I don't even see it now. Uh, oh, here you go, thirty-two ninety-two. And again, if you look, people always say, well, they got them as cheap as 32 How come I can't buy 10 of them for thirty-two ninety-two? Well, if you look, uh, all these companies require you to buy a large number to get their lowest price that they show on their website. So uh, that number, oh, there you go. That number 3279 requires you buy like a thousand ounces or 1500 ounces or something crazy like that in order to get at that low price. But I'm still using that low price um, and the averages over the years for generic one ounce silvers, which have always been cheaper than Silver Eagles. So I, I think it's a better indicator of what the real spot prices are. And they are cheaper than, the premiums are cheaper than Silver Eagles because they're less popular. But still, they trade for the silver. So typically in the past, uh, one ounce silver rounds have cost me around $1.25 over spot. Uh, you know, they've been a little bit cheaper, a little bit higher, but I'm going to just use an average of $1.25. Uh, and it appears that they're getting uh, uh, almost five bucks over. I think it was four ninety dollars over or something like that. So again, I just adjusted my price and unfortunately I lost my little post-it note where I had these exact numbers written down for you. Sorry about that. Oh, there it is. 
Um, nope, that's not it. Sorry. <laughs> well, anyways, uh, all I did was I took the current spot price of silver, the paper price that they're showing, and I added on the uh, $3.75, I think it was. Sorry about that. I lost my little slip. And this comes up with what the real price of silver is if you figure uh, if you're, if you're figuring how much more you're paying than what the average typical price has been wholesale over the last decade. I think that's the fairest way to figure out a real spot price. Uh, and folks, it's not that the uh, uh, premiums are too high. What it really is is that the paper price of gold and silver has disconnected from the physical prices. Whenever you see the product not available, you can't buy it, and when you can buy it, the premiums are super high. Uh, that just tells you that the uh, uh, paper ETF, SLV, uh, COMEX paper prices have completely disconnected from reality. And reality really is the real metal. Gold and silver in your hand is reality. The paper is a fantasy. I don't want to say a fantasy, but the paper is not real. The metal is real. In order to get real metal in your hands, uh, the real prices are this, folks. 1886 and 3140. Uh, I hope I explained that well enough. Sorry, I didn't mean to uh, keep repeating myself over and over, but it's kind of a little hard concept to understand if uh, you're not used to dealing in metals like I am all the time. Well, anyway, uh, I guess the whole point, anyways, uh oh, how many times I say, anyways, this report? <laughs> I think just once, maybe? Well, uh, I almost said it again. Buy local, spend it here, keep it here, find yourself a good local coin shop if you don't live in my area. And if you do live in my area, my prices are the best around. You're not going to find it cheaper online. And uh, I give good service as well. Well, let's move into spot prices. Oh, and before I go, I wanted to show you one thing that I notice here that uh, the big online sellers, um, 1812 gold, 2778 silver, and I think uh, Atmex is the same way. Uh, where is it? Uh, 2814 and 1818. Uh, 18. However, when I go over to, and this is one of my favorite free spot gold prices, uh, when I go and look at the uh, um, uh, fast markets prices, uh, it shows 1804. So for some reason, the uh, gold prices on Atmex, JM, and SD bullion are way higher. Not way higher, but God, when is it? Uh, hang on a second. Uh, eh. Oh, there it is. Gold's gone down a little bit there. JM. Let's see what Atmex prices are. J Atmex is still showing prices at uh, 1818. Let me refresh that. I th Atmex, I think your prices are broken because you're way higher than everyone else. Maybe not. Maybe you're just using a different system, and we've discussed that before, too. Uh, however, oh, and there's a gold asset. JM bullion is 1812. And uh, in reality, it's really around 1804, 1805. So they're showing prices like seven bucks higher or so. Uh, don't ask me why or how. Uh, and we're showing silver at 27.57, 27.61. And let's see what they're showing silver at. Um, quite a bit higher, actually. So uh, I don't quite get that, why their gold spot prices are higher than everyone else's. Here nor there, I'll figure that out later. So let's take a look at some of the spot prices that I use. I like CCE. They've been around forever. This is a static page. It doesn't update all the time, but that's why I like it. So it's not updating constantly while I'm trying to explain this stuff to you. So gold broke that $1,800 mark yesterday. It looks like the range today, uh, or since yesterday, has been 1804 to 1816. So we're back above that 18 range paper-wise. In reality, as I told you, gold is really 1886 right now. In reality, for the real stuff, not the paper stuff. These prices Prices reflect paper markets only, not physical markets. Uh, and it looks like silver is currently at 2760. Just got monkey hammered just a second ago, I think, actually. Let me update that here and see. Because uh, we were up to 28. Wow. Wow. Silver just got monkey hammered as I was speaking to you. Down 60 cents. Uh, that would lower my price here just a little bit. Uh, down 60 cents. So that puts this price at around uh, 30 uh, 80 it looks like. So the actual silver price right now, as we speak, is 3080, <laughs> uh, not uh, uh, 2756. However, this does not make sense. Something's happening right now. Uh, markets are getting hammered in uh, 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 New York. Markets are getting hammered right now in metals as we speak, and it looks like platinum got hammered as well. Uh, I wonder if the entire equity markets and everything are getting hammered across the board. Is this the big uh, crash that we're expecting to see? I don't know. I'm going to end this show, but if anything crazy happens here, I will get back to you later, and uh, uh, I'll do another report before the day's over. If not, this is Brian Kuzmar with Commercial Rare Coins. Oh, 
Let me go on my site. There's my uh, reviews. I got a lot of good reviews. Thank you, people. Uh, commercial rare coins and precious metals in beautiful Lauderdale by the sea. Call me anytime at 954 493 8811 between the hours of 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. Happy to help you out with anything you may need. And uh, that's really about it. I hope your day is great. I appreciate you watching this very much. Uh, and again, uh, my whole point of this is to teach you how to fish, not give you a fish. Uh, a smarter buyer uh, helps out uh, uh, substantially when you're going to buy something. Helps me out. Again, I don't have to sit there and explain everything when you come in and say, hey, Brian, what's up? I want this, this, and this, and this is why I want it. Makes me smile. So uh, have yourself a great day. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.